boy Deflux, Southside Dance 2 in Guildford, here to talk to Kashmir, Jazz, T and Zai about their new record Galactus coming out on boot in the next few months. I am Galactus, funky as I ought to be, funky as St. Matthew's Peace Park disorderlies, wielding my power cosmic, smashing in ill biscuits, ducking cops like niggas mind to businesses, the mega negro, doors open for the worshipping all day. Now, Kashmir, uh, I hear it's a concept album. Like, yeah, do you want to tell yeah. us a little about that? It's kind of a concept album. I mean, the theme of it is, um, as you can see, it's like the whole Galactus thing. But um, to be honest, it's not actually like me recreating a story by Galactus, you know what I'm okay. saying? Or of Galactus or anything like that. It's more like, almost like a metaphor for my character in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Just okay. large crushing shit, you know what I mean, devouring planets, you know. Where do you see it going in the future? Can you, have you got any other ideas yeah, for yeah. future ones? Yeah, yeah, like I've got, um, I've got this other thing that I'm working on, like, um, well, it's, it's done, it's just waiting to come out on y and Records called um, Kingdom of Fear. Like, it's kind of like loosely based on, you know, Hunter S. Thompson's Free and Logan. That's very Some true. drug music, man. Yeah, no doubt. So, who else are you working with on that album? Who what can we expect? Well, this one here, this this Galactus thing we're talking about here, we got um, we got Jest on there. We got uh, Michael Parkinson. Okay. We got uh, Ransom Bad Bones. We got this um, nondescript character called um, Chub that Chubby that call it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so obviously you love comics. So yeah. what like what's your favourite comic book character and series? Okay, <laughs> let's get down to the business. Okay, right, right. My favorite, my favorite comic book character in all the comic book universe is actually Galactus. Okay. Reason being, you know, the, 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 the idea of Galactus is just ill. Basically, he's a god, full stop. You know what I mean? Unlike any other god that's in the DC or Marvel universe, you know what I'm saying? He's not fuck with Galactus, you know what I mean? But it's it's kind of like um you know if you if you pick the story you know he's been defeated a few times but those are just story arcs man if you just look at the actual you know statistics of his abilities and powers you just you just realise guys just too ill man yeah. so do you see like the music more as like an art form oh man? definitely definitely I mean for me that's the only way to see it you know what I mean I think in hip hop nowadays it's getting away from the art form you know what I mean like a lot of people are getting away from the art form and it's just becoming like you know how how good you look. You know, it's just real, just just ignorance, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'd just rather let's get back to the art form and start enjoying the music again. You know yeah, man. Instead of watching out for who's real and who isn't, because most of the time, people yapping about all that hood shit are just wasteland. You know what I mean? They just just chatting shit. Like yeah. you go to their parents and they'll be their parents will be wondering why their kids are acting like that. So overall, then, I mean, you stick out like in the English hip hop scene. Like you say, it's pretty. I mean, there's, there's artists, but Thanks, it's man. not. You're pretty individual, man. Like, who are the people that you think shaped how, how you got into hip hop? What what is it that you see as your biggest influences? Surprisingly enough, a lot of people wouldn't say. A lot of people won't know this from listening to the like Galactus, for example, but. The people that got me into actually making hip hop music and got me into the music yeah. was groups like De La Soul and Tribe Called Quest, Native Tongues, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, I'd already heard little bits and pieces of, of rap music before that, do you know what I'm saying? But from time I heard Three Feet High and Rising and People Who Think of Travels by Tribe Called Quest and De La Soul, you know, that was me, man. That's what got yeah. me interested in actual, the actual making of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whereas before I was just listening to it thinking, wow, what's this? What's this? Like down the line, obviously the 90s was a massive influence, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'd say if one artist, if I was to mention one artist that really made me just really think, wow, had to have been Cool Keith, yeah. straight up. Yeah. I mean, I'd heard Cool Keith before and all that stuff, but when, um, you know, I was, I was mad into Ultra Magnetics, but like, when I heard Dr. Octagon, that just <laughs> changed flowers. my life. Yeah, that changed my life. I'm not even going to front. <laughs> that, that did actually change my life. Like, you know what I mean? In terms of, like, you know what I mean? My outlook on music. So what do you say? Like, is what's your, your favourite record then? Of oh, record. Forever. That's a difficult Like, question. anything. Not just hip hop, I'm saying. Your favourite record. Favorite record. That is a difficult ass question, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> let me think, let me think. I'd say, right, well, well. My most influential record that I loved, like I love quite a lot, is People's Instinctive Travels by Tribe Called Quest. Yeah. Because for me, I mean, a lot of people talk about Low End Theory and Midnight Marauders. Those albums are all classics. Yeah, great, great. But 
people who think the travels just felt special to me, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a special album. So, I mean, I still listen to it all the time. Thank you, Kashmir. All like, good, speaking man. to Kashmir about Galactus. All good. Just tell the people, man. Tell the people. Galactus coming out. <laughs> Second week of November. Second week of November. Go cop that shit. Otherwise, we'll be round to devour your house or something, man. You know <laughs> devour your internet connection. <laughs> so, I mean, firstly, like, when did you boys get into hip-hop? Uh, I got into hip-hop probably in about 1981, 1982. I heard Rocket. I heard uh, Planet Rock. And, you know, they were probably the two tracks that really got me into it. My brother uh, got me into, like, uh, Public Enemy, NWA, Layla, stuff like that when I was about 10, 11 um, and then I got mad into drum and bass and I started making that uh, but then I got into cutting and stuff and I met jazz um, and it got me more into slower breaks and hip hop. So you both kind of met from like the scratching which I know is like... Uh, mm, sort of. We met at a house party. Yeah, I think we were spinning drum and bass together like, Okay. and we just... We just ended up spinning for about three hours back to back. Like, so what would you say, like, your biggest influences when it comes to making music? I know you've got quite an individual sound. What would you say influences that? The stuff we sample, really. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's when we're digging, you know, we might find stuff that a lot of other people would use and we just don't even pay it any attention, you know, because we look for certain stuff. Um, and the way we fuck around with the stuff that we do sample. Yeah, yeah, in terms of, like, material, yeah. I mean, also obviously like fat break beats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fat drums. You know, Your that, drums are always serious. That was man, always right? the most, you know, that's that's the most important basis for any beat that we'll make. I've always been in the fat drums, but so I took it to the next level of fat drums yeah, for me, yeah. you know what I mean? So like, it's, you know, you're definitely an influence in, you know, my outlook on stuff. But in terms of other producers and stuff, like, you know, people like Prince Paul, people like Sparky, that did a lot of the old London posse what, stuff. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just Large Pro, K Cuts, The Scratch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Daddy O from Stessa Sonic as well. Um, Protect. Yeah, Protect. Yeah. Awesome, you know what I mean? Okay, what would you say? I mean, overall, like, I know because your sound is quite different, like, you've obviously been in the game a long time now. What would you say the main differences you think now are with hip hop, how we're, where we're at with it now? Well, in terms of the music, hip hop will always be hip hop, you know. Yeah. You know, if it, if it doesn't sound like similar to what Cool Hurt created live, you know what I mean? Then to me, it ain't really, you know what I mean? You've got a lot of pop rap kind of rubbish, and people think that's hip hop or R&B, and people will call that hip hop. That, 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 you know, that winds me up. You know, you get like journalists, people just going on TV talking about hip hop. It's like, mate, you really need to shut up because yeah. you don't even know what the hell you're even talking about, son. Yeah. So hip hop is hip hop to me, yeah. you know, and it's as hip hop as it was back then as it is now, you know what I'm saying? The, the actual sound of hip hop. Obviously, technological advances like, have added to it, you know what I mean? Just for all, all the techno uh, geeks out there, like, how do you boys put your piece together? Like, what do you use? Weapons of choice. Weapons of choice at the moment is uh, Logic. Okay. You know, it's, it's an amazing program. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I personally, I'm not like, I'm not really down with drum machines. You know, like, I respect people that use them, but like, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we could obtain like that sound with how we do it with Logic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not. We're not purists who think that it's not hip hop unless it's of an SP or whatever. Um, yeah, so we use Logic. And we try and we don't mix stuff in the computer, we try and run it through something physical. Um, Got some nice compressors and stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. So a lot of analogue, you're, like, you're into your analogue, but quite a melding of digital yeah. analogue with the computer yeah. base. Yeah, I mean, the computer's like really totally easy to use, and it's whatever you're comfortable with. And I, I, I just prefer to be able to you know, see what's going on as well as hearing what's going on. So, do you ever like use instruments on your tunes? Do you play instruments? I don't, but uh, so I play. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah we've, we've been experimenting with uh, recording drums and bass and uh, analog keyboards mm -hmm. and percussion. You know, when we when we go in different places, we'll try and pick up percussive instruments in those places, bring yeah. back, record them, use them to add a you know another dimension to them. Obviously, like you recorded the stuff, you put it into the sampler, so it's still technically a sample, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, it's still made as yeah, we like cool. to make it, you know what I mean? What would you say your favourite record is? I mean, as a, like, an individual thing, because I don't doubt that they're different. Right? Yes, well, I mean, for me, like, obviously it's an age thing, you know, like, I mean, there's a couple of favourite records, and I'm going to mention them both. 
actually his three favourite records. So I'm going to mention all three of them. Yeah. One, one of the records that just really made me, you know, this is what I, you know, am, was uh, BDP South Bronx. Secondly, like an, another record that just, just was, just drove me crazy. Step Sonic, just say step. And, and then in the '90s, um, main source fake and the funk. You know, that that was like basically how I felt towards all these other idiots that were around. And that was even before, like, I was just a DJ at the time, you know what I mean? Just dabbling with production, but faking the funk to me, you know, it was lyrically that, you know, that's where I was at. I hate that question, because uh, I just get stumped, you know, because there's so many. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like everything Jazz mentioned, and, you know, the, I like the Victor Vaughan album. Yeah, um, awesome, yeah. And not, not hip-hop, I like a lot of ska, stuff yeah. like that, Don Drummond. Okay. You boys like obviously like music from all over the world being sampled. Like. Exactly. I mean that's that's another beautiful thing about hip hop. It was created out of other musical forms. You know what I mean? And it's it's educational. Like to go and find uh, all these different sounds from different places. You know what I mean? You're kind of traveling the world like yeah. when, you're, when you're making beats. You know what I mean? You've both worked with some massive artists already. I mean Percy P. Jest, Cashmere. <laughs> like you got chubby, lot under chubby your belt. Chubby, yeah, you've got a lot under your belt, right? Like mm. what are your aspirations? Like is there someone that you're I know you can be secretive about it, but is there anyone that you've like got on the cards to work with? Anyone that you really yeah. want to work with? Like what are your aspirations? Well we are putting out uh, Rams and Bad Bones LP um, and we hope to do more stuff with him uh, next year. And we've got Chubby's album coming out next year as well. And we just want to sort of move the label forwards, you know, so it's a proper business and stuff like that. Mm, definitely. I mean, with Boot, I mean, personally, like, I can, I can take any of our records and be proud, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, you know, it's just one of those labels where you can, there, there isn't a shit record in there. I, I can, I'm happy of, I'm happy with our back catalog, you know what I mean? I, I can listen to all that stuff still to this day. You know, we pretty much work with everyone we want to work with, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, for me, I'd, I'd like to work with Godfather Don, like, from the States. Yeah. I'd like to, you know, I wouldn't mind doing some stuff with Cool Keith. Lord Finesse. Yeah, Lord, Lord Finesse. Yeah. I, I like AG. You know, UK, UK cats, I mean, like, you don't, you, know, you can't really get much better like, than the people that we work with. So, you know, it's all, it's all about looking for new new cats as well, I think. Okay. Be good to discover some people, you know, that you know, need to be put out there. Yeah, nice. So obviously you've got the Cashmere record coming out. You've got the Rounds and Bad Bones one coming out. Is there any other definites that are in the, the pipeline? The Chubby now? Alcoholic album. That's the next Is one. Is he calling yeah. that recovery still? I don't think so. It was called Recovery, but you know, it's a never changing title, so yeah. yeah. Don't quote us on that. Okay. Well, brilliant. Well, cheers for like chatting to us, man. Like I say, D Flux representing Kane FM, speaking to uh, Jazz and Zygo. Do you want to just like tell the people, man? <laughs> Give <them> a little. <laughs> what could I say? But big up to my boss for letting us use the shop. That's yeah, all yeah. I'm saying. Word. <laughs> yeah. Word. Big up Dance 2 Guildford. Yeah, big up. Big up Fame and Nomis for, you know, everything they're doing. Kane FM. And Cash. I <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the microphone, guy? Damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Defying all logic, I will the power cosmic Motherfuck your pop hits, we got the hot shit The power of the first, that hurts when in verse Check how it murks, worse than the gamma ray burst Teleport galaxies to unknown realities Transforming the still, psychedelic insanity You're holding your head as I'm resurrecting the dead Like Norin Rad raising Galactus and turn red Manipulate souls of the mortal Middle finger as I open the interdimensional portal Entering the earth 616 in killer mode Panic attacks as cosmic blasts unload The amount I contain you can't calculate Jealous God step to the king with mad sour grapes They're looking at the style like what's this the hot shit Brother I wield the power cosmic Oh that was tough though. It was tough. Yes, it's D representing Kane 103.7 FM. I've just been at Dance 2 in Guildford interviewing Kashmir, Jazz T, Zygo on the Galactus project. You can cop that in November this year on Boot Records. Big up Kane 103.7.